I'm a long swimmer for LA Long Beach. And LA is fighting against this right here. I'll tell you right now. See that? There's nobody there. Automation. I work at an automated dock. It's no joke. They're losing thousands of jobs. So you got all these machines. Look at all these machines right here. There's no people. They ain't paying no taxes. They ain't paying no money. Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Here's a question that workers in the automotive sector should keep asking themselves. Could AI and robotics replace workers in the automotive industry? The automotive world has been evolving at lightning speed and with innovations in AI and robotics, the future of factory jobs is being hotly debated. Now we're going to break it down today with three key points backed by data and expert insights before we do if you're new to the channel please subscribe and if you have to go before the end of this video please smash that thumbs up button the algorithm will really really appreciate it now here's an interesting twist did you know that neo one of china's top electric vehicle companies is testing humanoid robots like the walker s on their assembly lines in collaboration with UB Tech Robotics. Neo is using these advanced robots for intricate tasks like quality inspections and even attaching logos. Now Walker S you're seeing here designed to mimic human movements can walk on two legs and handle objects offering flexibility for jobs that traditional robots find challenging. This could mark a major leap in manufacturing efficiency, consistency and the future workforce. And just recently, port workers across some major cities in the United States threatened strike action, all in an effort to safeguard their jobs. Some say it was really for wage negotiations, but one guy posted this video on his TikTok account trying to explain what is really happening. Take a look at this. I'm a long swimmer for LA Long Beach, and LA is fighting against this right here. I'll tell you right now. See that? There's nobody there. Automation. I work at an automated dock. It's no joke. They're losing thousands of jobs. So you got all these machines. Look at all these machines right here. There's no people. They ain't paying no taxes. They ain't paying no money. This is what ILA is fighting about. This all used to be filled with top handlers, UTR drivers, clerks, all this yard. Look how big this yard is. And there ain't hardly any people on this thing. This is what they're fighting about. I work at an automated dock right here, Port of LA, Long Beach. Keep fighting, brothers. Keep fighting. Now, to go into our three key points. Number one, automation isn't new, but it's evolving. Robots has been a part of the manufacturing since the 1960s when General Motors introduced the Unimet robot arm. But today, AI-powered robotics are far more advanced. According to the World Economic Forum, automation could displace up to 85 million jobs by 2025, many of which are in manufacturing, including auto assembly lines. However, the rise of AI doesn't necessarily spell doom for all jobs. Instead, AI is helping automate repetitive tasks such as welding and painting. It's not all doom and gloom as AI will open doors for workers to shift into more specialized roles like robotics maintenance or software programming. My second point is the rise of smart factories. The concept of the smart factory is reshaping how vehicles are produced. Smart factories integrate AI, machine learning, and the internet of things, IoT, to streamline production. And this reduces human error and speeds up processes. Tesla's gigafactories are a prime example of this, where robotic systems build everything from battery packs to the vehicle components. McKinsey estimates that fully integrated smart factories could increase production efficiency by up to 30%. But even in this robotic future, human oversight is crucial, especially in quality control, troubleshooting, and ensuring machines run much more smoothly. Our third point, our third key point is the human AI collaboration era. The future isn't just robots versus humans. It's a collaboration. AI can handle tasks that require precision and consistency, but the human touch is still irreplaceable for creative problems problem solving, design innovation, and complex decision making skills. Now, in fact, new roles in AI and robotics development are rising. For instance, cobots 
collaborative robots are designed to work alongside humans, not replace them. Now, in the coming years, it's likely that the workforce will evolve with more emphasis on tech savvy jobs, what we're seeing in Silicon Valley. And it keeps evolving because a lot of these Silicon Valley companies are actually laying, laying off and restructuring their entire workforce. The auto industry might see less demand for traditional assembly line workers, but a growing need for AI engineers, robotic specialists, and data analysis. The auto industry might see less demand for traditional assembly line workers, but a growing need for AI engineers, robotic specialists, and data analysts, which we're seeing more often now in the rise of electric vehicles, EVs. Now, according to a PwC report, these jobs will drive a new wave of employment with the potential to increase or create 97 million new roles globally in the digital space. Now, believe it or not, dealerships are not immune. Now, take a look at this feature from Rich Tech Robotics. The goal of every service department in automotive is how can we make technicians more efficient? And when technicians are having to run back and forth to the parts department or we have to add personnel to be able to run parts out to them, you obviously create a lot of downtime, time where technicians aren't able to do what they do best, which is fix cars. And so the robots have been able to keep technicians in their stalls longer, let them focus on the job they need to do and get our cars back to our customers quicker. We have roughly 100 bays in the shop. Um, so when we have a part or multiple parts that need to go out to multiple different technicians, we would have to send three different people out to three different places. In this case, we're not needing to send three different people. We can send the robot out with the parts for every single technician at that point. Um, they can go to three different stalls anywhere in the shop. So it basically allows our proficiency to go through the roof as we're looking to make sure the technicians stay in their stall as long as possible. As a business owner, we have to assess our software and hardware needs all the time. The goal with software and hardware isn't necessarily necessarily to eliminate personnel or eliminate jobs. We just want to find resources to make our current employees more efficient. The robot has helped us become more efficient. It has helped everybody in the parts department become more efficient. It's helped all of our technicians become more efficient. They can provide a better life for their family and they can do a better job themselves. You know, Mercedes-Benz always been on the forefront of technology. Uh, this just adds to it, right? It's something that you we haven't seen in the industry. Um, it's something that's outside the box, if you will. I hate to use a phrase like that, but it is. Um, and it's something that as more people see it, I think we'll start to see more people utilizing it and growing their business using these robots as well. As I told my colleagues over and over, especially in the part department, it's not something that's coming. It's already here. So don't get comfortable. Make enough, get the experience, and leave. So there you have it from Rich Tech Robotics. Robots are now taking over the dealership and especially removing someone from the parts department. And by the way, Titan has already recently installed in Mercedes-Benz Plano and Porsche Austin, as you're seeing here in this particular video. I will leave the link in the description box below. Now, AI and robotics will undoubtedly undoubtedly change the landscape of the automotive industry but rather than a mass exodus of jobs we're looking at a total shift while some roles may disappear others will merge and emerge focusing on high-tech innovation and human robot collaboration the future of auto workers lies in adapting to new technologies and ensuring that both ai and human skills are leveraged to their fullest potential. Women who work mostly in office, retail, and administrative jobs will be the ones greatly affected. Men are great with their hands, repairing robotics, escalators, elevators, transporting, installing heavy machinery is what men do. Remember, engineers build, mechanics maintain what we all take for granted. So, what's your take on humanoid robots working alongside humans, especially in the automotive industry? Should we be worried? As usual, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Remember to grab a copy of my ebook, The Parts Manager Guide. Please smash that like button on your way out. It will only take you 1.5 seconds to do so. Until next time.